it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler and today I'm going to talk to you about Harvest Host. Harvest Host is a membership organization that signs up businesses to allow self-contained RVers to stay on their property. There are wineries, breweries, farms, museums, and even a parking lot once in a while with a special business. I have been a member of Harvest Host since 2019 and I have stayed at many wineries, a few breweries, some farms, and even at a parking lot of an antique shop. All you have to do is check out the link below and sign up for Harvest Host. If you use my link below, you'll get a 15% discount. Once you're signed up for Harvest Host, you might also look into Boondockers Welcome. They are with Harvest Host, but a different membership. Boondockers Welcome are people who have property that allow self-contained vehicles to come and stay on their property. I've stayed at some beautiful areas like the desert, a farm in Oklahoma, and a beautiful place in Cheyenne, Wyoming. That is a separate fee but it's worth it and many times boondockers welcome because they are not businesses will allow you to plug in electricity for a fee of five to ten dollars a night they may also allow you to fill your water tank and use their Wi-Fi there is a new service that Harvest Host has now it's called camper card I have signed up for camper card this service is that they find campgrounds or RV resorts and you would get a 10% off. I haven't used it yet but I'm looking forward to using it in the future. If you're interested in Harvest Host please check out the website below with my link. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out too. And check out Harvest Host website. Thank you very much. Now we are on our way to Youngstown, Ohio to the Paladin Brewing Company that is a Harvest Host location. The Paladin Brewing Company was established in 2015. It is locally owned and operated by Abby and John Chandler. Abby and John were raised in the area. They have raised four children and have gone through some health issues but continue to maintain the brewery. They are family first. Although some events are adult, only Paladin offers many kid and friendly activities. They are charitable, giving back. The, the brewery has hosted many fundraising events. Quality, the only the best depth of flavor in Paladin beers starts with the top quality ingredients. They have beer tasting flights as well as bar snacks. This is our site where we parked for the night. The first taste is the Red Dragon with raspberry. Taste the raspberry. Tastes pretty good. This one is called more melon. I expect it to taste like a melon. And it does taste a little like uh, watermelon or cantaloupe. Very refreshing. Out of my daughter's uh, group, she had me try this one. It's called Bada Blue, which is blueberry. Very blueberry-ish, very fruity, good flavor. While we are here, my daughter took a bike ride on the Metro Park Bikeway on Mahoney Avenue. 
Hi there. We left uh, Youngstown, Pennsylvania and the Paladin Brewery to head east across Pennsylvania. And we are heading to Bloomberg, Pennsylvania to stay at a Boondockers Welcome site. We had rain during the night and woke up to rain in the morning. It rained all day long. Nothing like having a big rainstorm to find out how good your windshield wipers are. Looks like I'm going to need to get some new windshield wipers at our next stop. We made it to Bloomberg, Pennsylvania to the Boondockers Welcome site. And on the way, all the way across Pennsylvania, we had rain, lots of rain. We did cross into Pennsylvania, and about halfway through, we had strong rain. No thunder or lightning, just rain. Now we're here at the Boondockers Welcome Site. The beautiful farmland, lots of greenery, green grass, green trees. The gentleman was very nice and helped me uh, hook up to electricity. And I found out because of the rain that my windshield wipers on the RV were not very efficient. So my daughter was able to take one off and I went up to Walmart and bought new windshield wipers and bought them longer. They're 22 inches now. They will cover the whole window. So I'm ready for the next rainstorm. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe. Tomorrow will be May the 21st, and we will be heading east to Massachusetts. So follow along.